keep getting hit markers with my sniper. How have they just shot me across the map with a submachine gun? He has no recoil. He must be cheating. Well, some of these things may be true. The more likely answer is weapon tuning. Whether you're a casual player or you're trying to take over the competitive scene, you need to stop ignoring weapon tuning. This video is honestly about to transform your Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer experience. Don't believe me? Well, you may already know that the TAC-56 and the Vaznev are two of the best guns in Modern Warfare 2 right now. But what if I told you that even those two guns could be made even better with a little TLC? That's probably why you're here though, right? In this video, I hope I'm going to cover what weapon tuning is, how to tune your weapon, how to know what to change, and hopefully you'll pick up on a few other hints and tips along the way as well. So whether this is your first or your 100th video about weapon tuning, hopefully it'll be your last, because that means I'll have answered all your questions. Let's get into it. So, what is weapon tuning? Well, it's a feature that is brand new for Modern Warfare 2, and it's considered to be the end game of weapon customization. Let's take a look at the official statement from Call of Duty prior to the launch of MW2 regarding weapon tuning, and this will help us to get a better understanding of what it actually is. Reaching max level with a gunsmithable weapon will grant access to weapon tuning, and this is essentially further customization for your attachments. When it suggests gunsmithable weapon, what that means is any weapon that you can drop into the gunsmith and attach attachments to. So things like melee weapons and launchers will not have any weapon tuning options available to them. Now it does also suggest that once you have max leveled a weapon, a tune button will appear and be present on equipped tunable attachments. Selecting this button will take you into a tuning menu and here you will find a radar graph representing that attachment's current stats as well as two sliders with opposing attributes on either end. Inching towards one attribute will generally decrease the attribute of the opposing side, so it's suggested to take great care during this process to find the tuning values that make your attachment perform at peak efficiency. In my opinion, there will no doubt be videos upon videos talking about the meta tuning setups. In fact, some of the game's top players such as Wars, Amund and Dukies have already taken to Twitter to post their meta builds. It does also give us an example to have a look at here as well. Now, it does suggest a barrel could have two sliders, one for weight and one for length. Now, adjusting the weight slider affects both movement speed and recoil. Adjusting the length slider affects both aim down sight time and damage range. Adjusting both allows for a unique combination of effects on all four of these attributes. And as mentioned before, weapon tuning is the persistent end game level of weapon customization. After you unlock every attachment in the game, Weapon tuning is essentially where you would go to experiment and find the most ideal version of each attachment for your weapon. While the changes may seem small, they could add up to make a weapon fit for your ideal meta. Essentially, the sooner you unlock and explore this tool, the sooner you can see how you can become a complete meta game changer. Now that we know what weapon tuning is, let's take a look at where you find it and how it looks. You first of all need to go into the gunsmith for the weapon that you would like to tune and if you have this gun at maximum level then you should see this option above any tunable attachment in order to bring up the tuning menu. Now for consistency we are going to take a look at the barrel attachment as that's what was mentioned in the Call of Duty article that we had a look at earlier in the video. Now as mentioned before we do have this radar graph which shows the current performance of this particular attachment and the two sliders which are fully customizable to set this gun up to our preference. Now we are going to take a look at how shifting these sliders will affect this particular graph. So if we shift the bar at the bottom to the left hand side in order to favour aim down sight speed, as you can see the handling and mobility of this gun has increased. Now if we move it all the way to the right hand side, we would expect damage and range to increase but potentially some other of the peaks to reduce. So let's take a look at how that affects it just now. So as you can see, damage and range has increased, but the handling has come down because we have set this to favour damage range to give us more damage at those longer engagements. Now, on the face of it, it may not look as if we have changed much about this particular gun, but remember that you do have five attachments per weapon, and tuning all five attachments as a collective will massively, massively impact how that weapon performs in the battlefield, potentially giving you that edge over your opponents on the other team. So far in this video we have covered what weapon tuning is, how to find it in the gunsmith and how to change it. What we've not looked at is how to know exactly what to change. Well the truth is, this purely comes down to your preference and your playstyle. I would suggest maybe having a look back at some of your own gameplay or taking a mental note with what you think you're struggling with and then maybe make some changes within tuning, try again and if things work, keep it. If it doesn't, try something else. 
So far, one of the biggest complaints that I've heard in Modern Warfare 2 is how much recoil there is on the weapons in comparison to the Vanguard guns that we've all been using for months now. If you realise that you are struggling with recoil control, then here's a tip on how you can increase your accuracy by tuning your optics if you choose to use one. Within all optics, you have the option for close or far eye positioning. Changing this will massively impact the visual recoil that you have on a gun, and the less visual recoil, the more accurate you'll be. Let's take a look at both of these in the firing range. At the beginning of the video, I spoke about the TAC-56 and the Vaznev being two of the best guns in the game right now, but I promised you that you would be able to make them even better, so if you're looking for a set for both of these guns, then screenshot this video now. I've compiled the best tuning and attachments for both of these weapons so far. It is important to note that as mentioned in a previous video, there is a weapon balancing coming at the beginning of Warzone 2 in just a few days time, so things are likely to change, but for the next few days, take advantage of these classes to cause havoc in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. As always, if you have found the content useful, then smash that like button. I will be looking to bring out even more content going forwards because of Warzone 2, but Warzone 2 for me spells opportunity, so there's going to be plenty of high kill games, best classes, best strategies and best settings, so make sure you're subscribed for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.